Good morning, Kevin here. Something different today. I've got Cynthia and I've got Steve with morning. me. Morning. And we are, let me show you the sign, at Hindhead Common and the Devil's Punch Bowl. But we are here today to follow the old coach road which came through Hindhead. Behind me is the old A3, which used to be down to the Hindhead traffic lights. We've got the Devil Punch Bowl um, Hotel there, and the road used to follow its way up through here. So we're going to have a walk around here today and see what else we can find on route. We've been here before, we've made videos here before, but this is talking particularly about the old A3. Well, we're just leaving the car park and we're now straight into the conservation area which was set up by the National Trust um, when they altered the A3. So we're, this is the original route of the old A3. So this, this is the area that I mentioned just now as we came into the conservation area and this particular bit of the A3 would have been just single carriage uh, going southbound to uh, Portsmouth and northbound to London but further on this single carriage um, road would have come in filtered in from a dual carriage way on the corner which we'll see shortly and just here is this monument that was put here But either side, it would have been um, trees, but not so high as they are now. But look at this. Well, just in front of us, we've got this, it says, the road to restoration. Now nature now flourishes where traffic once flowed, which indeed it did. And just as we head along here, um, we're heading towards a, a big sweeping uh, left-hand bend, which we'll see shortly, which would have been dual carriageway, which then come into this bit of road here and would have gone along this way straight in towards Hindhead and the traffic lights that was there back in, um, up to about 2011, I think. I was telling Cynthia and Steve a while back that uh, probably, and I'm going back probably 30 years ago, I was working for a lady at, at Beacon Hill, not far from here. And we were talking about the discussions that were held very regularly about a, 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 a tunnel or a flyover which would have gone across the punch bowl here to my left hand side and she got us uh, some maps out which her husband had and I can't remember the dates on them but as I say I'm talking about 30 years ago when I worked for her and she was there so we're going back probably 80 years or even more that they were talking about altering the traffic flow here um, because of the volume of traffic but just here, the work started in January 2007 um, to, to make the alterations here to, to introduce a tunnel. So we'll be looking more at that in a little while. There was a process of actually removing some of the wildlife from this area because of the work that was going to be going on. And during the process of that, it saw 171 reptiles being moved, including slow worms, adders, lizards, uh, being carefully moved to suitable locations and obviously then at some point they would have been recaptured or others captured and brought back so that was a, a fantastic thing to do now just where we are now is just the end of the sweeping corner that I mentioned a little bit earlier um, as we're heading this way it's a, it's a left hand uh, turn but obviously coming from the other from the other direction it would have been a right hand corner 
and this is just at the end of where the dual carriageway would have been and then from this point onwards going there that way past where Steve is and Cynthia that's where it filters out and then would turn into a, a single track road and this is the other thing about this this where this old road was the original road is still underneath here where we are and this is all that was dug out for the tunnel and it was all deposited all the way around here but there are conflicting stories that some people say or something has suggested that the old road was broken up and then this was put on top but in fact I think the truth is that the old road is still there and then they just put this this uh, over the top so this is everything that come out of the tunnel but then when they wanted to reseed things they scattered probably tons of seed everywhere um, just to get everything grown back along the top here just in front of us it's mainly silver birch trees on the lower levels and then it goes up into the the, the older trees that were here um, originally away up on top of these banks so as you can see just in front of where Cynthia and Steve is this is where you would come up the hill on a single ca single track carriageway and then from as I turn around from this point on you can see as the road bends around that's how it sweeps around into a dual carriageway and then carries right the way round carries on all the way round the punch bowl as you can see more gorse here which has grown since I've seen the since uh, this was all put back to this this track and of course this would have been an old coach track coachway um, from London to Portsmouth uh, you know, going back before anything was made up or anything like that so this would have been a similar sort of uh, route that you would have to travel all the way from London to Portsmouth and this was the main as I say the main route for travellers to come on and coaches you know that would carry passengers perhaps to different des destinations along the way perhaps stopping at Guildford and Godalmin and Farncombe all these different places because these places were there you know hundreds of years ago we just stopped just to have a look at across the this from this position of the Devil's Punch Bomb. Can you imagine what that would have looked like a couple of weeks ago when all the, the leaves were on all the trees would have been out? Some of the colours are still beautiful now, but it would have been absolutely stunning. Well, we've, we're coming out of the conservation area now. We will be coming back up this way shortly. But we're heading on down this way. Now here, this, this little road here, we are now slightly above this, this track. Whereas in the past, where we're standing, we would have probably been about 10 or 12 feet lower down. Because this little lane here, if I remember right, used to go to a hostel, a youth hostel, a youth hostel down there. So it shows you the elevation changes with all the soil and everything that's been put on top of here. We would have actually been going uphill slightly before we start dropping down. So that shows you the elevation changes here. So we're still following the old A3. Cynthia would have got run over a few years ago, as would Steve and I. But now we're heading down towards, uh, still on the old A3 but we're heading towards the north end of the Hindhead Tunnel. Of course, if we'd have stayed on this lane, we'd have gone back down onto the, and joined up with the A3 um, near Thursley. So we're not gonna go any further down here, but this is a continuation of the old A3. And eventually, as I said earlier, we're gonna come out onto the, the existing A3 but away below us, down that away, is the exit to the tunnel. But we want to go back and see if we can actually see the northbound exit of the, of the Hindhead Tunnel. 
and southbound entrance correct yes thank you see yes, ladies and gentlemen I was just about to say the, the southbound entrance to the tunnel and I was so very very quickly corrected by Cynthia and Steve you see nothing changes that's what we're here for well we've come to a bit of a crossroads ladies and gentlemen do we go down that way or that way? I think that way. Yeah. Mainly because since he's already wanting to open the gate. It's also, it looks official. It looks official, yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to see who gets wet first. It'll probably be me. Oh, cool. It's alright, I'll shut the gate. No, I'm fine, thank you. <coughs> Definitely. <laughs> We're going off piste. We're not getting lost, ladies and gentlemen. We've just taken a different turn in. Well, I've walked the track just behind me. And I've left Cynthia and Steve right at the top of the hill. But just here, just through here, is the exit and entrance to the North Tunnel. And I can't get to it which is a real nuisance Well, Cynthia, Steve and I, we're, we've actually come back down to Cynthia and Steve wanting to see where I'd got to. But excuse the, um, the, the, the naked lady. But just look at this, look. G. Wadham South Hall, 5th of the 3rd, 1943. Isn't that amazing? In this really old beech tree, which goes way up above us. So 1943. That's sort of mid-war time, 39 to 45. I don't know if there's any, any others around here or not. Oh, there is. Yeah, look, RH R in 56. Well, you can't see the bottom of the hill. But this is what we've got ahead of us. And this is a, as you can see, very rutted track or where the water's come running down. But the one thing that is very noticeable is ooh, that mountain bikers use this track. And we've just seen one on another one go absolutely flying down the hill. Okay. Yeah, right. A group walk? Yeah. I think that's a great idea, Steve. And what we do is, we know where to not to go. We'll give everybody a map. And then we'll wait up the top. <laughs> well, that's the last bit of that track. Oh! We're up at the top. Gosh, that was steep. So we've got to walk along here now. So hope a way through. Yeah, so Steve said, hope there's a way through that fence. That's, that's where we've got to go. We are the wrong side of the fence. There might be a climbing job coming up. Do not go downhill. 